Barry Humphreys, who was best known for his character Dame Edna Everidge, has died at the age of 89. The beloved star recently underwent hip replacement surgery, but had to be readmitted to St. Vincent's Hospital in Sydney earlier this week following complications. Tributes to the beloved star have already started to pour in as the world mourns a comedy icon. Rebecca Vardy gains unexpected legal win in Wagatha Christie battle with Colleen Rooney following the news of his hospitalization, the Australian comedian's family released a statement to Australia's 10 News first earlier today. The statement read, Barry Humphreys is currently in hospital receiving treatment for health issues. Barry would like to thank everybody for the support and good wishes has received but would like more and more. It continued, he would also like to thank the wonderful doctors, nurses and staff at St. Vincent's Hospital. Barry was known for other characters aside from his beloved Dame Edna Everidge, including Sir Leigh Patterson, Sandy Stone and Barry McKenzie. He has also made appearances in films and on London's West End, winning countless awards and accolades throughout his life. In 2007, he was awarded a CBE, Commander of the Order of the British Empire, for his services to entertainment. Last year, he toured his show The Man Behind the Mask, and has previously performed in shows including The Dame Edna Experience and Dame Edna's Neighborhood Watch. Earlier today, a tweeted clip from Australia's Channel 7's Sunrise program showed entertainment reporter Peter Ford commenting on the late star's condition. Statement to media due to be released shortly. At this moment Barry is a serious condition but being kept comfortable. Has surrounded by family. Don't miss. Carol Vorderman fell in love with Boss while in South Africa, Insight, Paul O'Grady's final act to bid goodbye to village he loved so dearly, latest, Lee Mead in private life vow after ex Denise Van Outen's open letter, news, he added, Barry won't give up easily. Barry has something marked on his calendar and that is to say he'll be back on stage before the end of the year. Has been traveling around the UK last year doing a one-man show, largely sitting in a chair and talking about the great characters has created through the years. Whether that's a realistic goal for Barry, I don't know. But either way it's not over until it's over but I am told Barry's health has worsened in the last week. The reporter added that things are tough for the comedian but said, I reckon Barry has a fighting spirit and has not going to give up easily. When asked how long Barry would be hospitalized for, he said things were up in the air and added, there are very serious concerns about what happens next. It is a very tough time at the moment. But has got great care, has got fantastic medical team behind him. His family and friends, closest family, are rallying behind him. Barry is said to have suffered complications from his hip replacement, which he required after tripping earlier in the year. In an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald in March, he described how he had been agony following the accident. It was the most ridiculous thing, like all domestic incidents are, he said. I was reaching for a book, my foot got caught on a rug or something, and down I went. The result of my broken hip means I now have a titanium hip. You can call me Bionic Baza, he joked. Barry is survived by his wife Elizabeth Spender and his four children, Oscar, Tessa, Rupert, and Emily.